as a commercial pilot with 24,000 hours, I don't only have hundreds of hours, not thousands of hours, but tens of thousands of hours of this instrument, which is also on the space shuttle, and I'm going to teach you how to use this instrument in this episode. In this issue of Spacecraft Guide, I'm going to continue to teach you how to fly the space shuttle, working again on this instrument in the primary flight display, but the electric version of it on the prim uh, called the Course Deviation Scale. And when you click on the primary flight display, it takes you to the primary flight display page. And when we come down here, we are going to see in the com uh, on the uh, CDI here, we're going to work on the course deviation scale, which are these dots right along here. And when you click on that, it takes you to the course deviation scale page. And as you can see, we are looking, I circled it in orange here, this part of the instrument. And what this does is it displays the uh, deflection indicated the lateral, lateral offset or cross track in nautical miles between the current orbital plane and the targeted orbital plane. The scale for the course deviation updates throughout the ascent from 50 to deviation updates through the scale from 50 to 10 to one nautical mile as the cross track decreases. So uh, this will actually, as you get closer to the runway, uh, you or your course is if you're going up or you're orbiting, this will change automatically for you. And if you are a paying Patreon subscriber, we're going to go into how that works. I started this episode showing off the primary flight display information tool I created for airline pilots that fly next generation Boeing aircraft. After testing it out with the highly experienced pilots, I found it to be nine times faster than any other electronics tool we use. This is because the component is linked to the description of what it is and how to use it. Now, I'm offering the opportunity for you to use it and learn how to fly the next generation Boeing jets like Boeing 777s and 787s. And all I'm asking in return is in your support to make it possible to host this online. Now, if I can get, and how I'm asking to do that is if you could support me by signing up to my basic tier of $4 a month and if you can do if I can get 50 people by July 31st I'll have enough uh, physical or financial support to get this uh, hosted on the internet and not only will you get this tool if you sign up for four dollars a month but also access to the space shuttle the Apollo control module the lunar module and the Gemini spacecraft, all for signing up for $4 a month. That's a lot of value and a lot of spacecraft that you can explore. It is also displayed digitally to the right, and we're going to talk about that later. It's over here. Uh, if you we go back, you'll see it's over here, the cross track error. But we are going to be focusing on just this right here. And as this needle, you see it gives you a reference. This is, of course, the deviation indicator. Uh, as that move, if, as you move away from the runway here, it's telling you that the runway is to the left of the spacecraft. And what we need to do is uh, turn to the left to do it. So we turn this way. And if we turn to the right, this needle is going to go to that side. Here's another thing too, and we're gonna explain this in the next slide. If we keep going straight the way we are, this needle is gonna to continue to deviate, and we're gonna show you why. And that is for our paying Patreon subscribe, or, or 
paying Patreon subscribers and our free subscribers. So if you want to know why, if we're going straight, this needle is going to continue to go that way, then sign up for free. That will be downstairs, or down below, uh, down below here, and it will tell you um, how to sign up. And also, we will have that on the screen up here on what uh, the address is to go to to sign up. So when you click on schematic,